I am here at Vox Pop, powered by Somerville Media Center, with Kate Deming from Respond and Vanessa Martinez from Federal Realty Investment Trust. Hello to you both. Hello. Hi. We are here to talk about an event that you all are collaborating on uh, that's happening here <laughs> at Assembly Row for Pride Month. Mm -hmm. um, so, Kate, why don't you tell us how this idea took shape and what it entails? Well, we've, uh, we've had a great partnership with Federal Realty Investment Trust uh, developing over the past couple of years, and we were really excited to uh, jump in and do something here at Assembly. Um, so when they approached us about the silent disco, we thought it sounded awesome, and um, it's a great way. Uh, we love being a part of Pride, and uh, it's a great way to get our message about um, domestic violence kind of out there, but also have a good time. Mm -hmm. raise some much needed funds. And Vanessa, what does a silent disco entail? Ooh, what does it entail? So it's silent. <laughs> That's the first thing I should know. Um, so people who attend essentially will be having their own little mini party to themselves. So you will get a pair of headphones and there will be three channels playing different types of music and it'll be on the street, but basically, if you want to listen to 90s pop music, you can switch that onto your headphone, or if you want to listen to Pride Classics, you can switch that onto the next channel, but only you can hear it, and it's kind of awesome because no one else around you is knowing what you're listening to or enjoying in the fun with all your other friends, so it's a very unique experience, and it's our first time doing it here, so really excited. Very nice. Mm -hmm. um, so what is, the, what is, as you put this idea out there, what kind of response have you been getting? Um, definitely that that's really interesting or that's cool. <laughs> um, I think the other piece that I keep hearing about it is that because it's part of Pride and that's, it's our first time collaborating on Pride and doing something specifically for that, I think a lot of people are really excited because um, I think it adds more to the event. It's June. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a block party in front of smoke shops. So I think for most people, they're just like, that's cool. I, I want to go and I want to support Respond. So, yeah. So why don't we talk a little bit about Respond? Um, and its mission in uh, helping to prevent domestic violence. Yeah, so Respond uh, has been in Somerville for, we're celebrating our 45th year this year, which is exciting, which um, in the domestic violence world is, is quite a long time. Uh, we serve all victims of domestic violence, uh, regardless of any factor. Um, we have an emergency shelter. We do uh, community outreach and education, uh, trying to get into schools, um, and reach just reach the community in the best way that we can in order to um, fight domestic violence. So is the Silent Disco event, is that a, a fundraiser? Yes. So there's a yes. fundraising uh, donation component exactly. to it. Exactly. So a portion of the proceeds obviously will go to Respond, and I think the whole idea is to raise awareness around what mm -hmm. Respond does um, while having fun, essentially. So it is a fundraiser exactly. in essence. Um, part of the event is you will obviously purchase a ticket to attend, you'll get headphones, but part of it is you'll get access to a cash bar and food from Smoke Shop. So it's actually a really fun idea just to be able to go and get some pride swag, but also support an amazing cause. Yeah, and so pe do people need to register beforehand? Yes, so people can visit our website, assemblyrow.com or our Facebook, and there's an Eventbrite link and you can purchase a ticket right then and there really easily. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Are there any other events in the pipeline uh, for Respond this summer? I know you just came off of your gala. Yes, mm -hmm. we just had our um, 45th anniversary gala, so that was a big event for us here at The Row, which was mm -hmm. awesome. Um, we had a great time with them, and we are kind of planning our next events. I think we should have some fun stuff going on throughout the summer, and then uh, we'll see what comes up um, <laughs> as we continue. Very nice. And Vanessa, are there any other Pride events besides yes. the Silent Disco mm -hmm. here at Assembly Row? Yes, so we are actually doing our Pride kickoff with a banner unveiling on May 30th um, in front of our trusses. So for us, this is a big deal because we've never really done Pride um, ever before here. So we're 
you know, starting strong by doing a banner unveiling and having a pride scape, with, which is like a photo op Instagram thing where you, people can stand in front of it and take photos. But at that pride unveiling, we'll be having Katiana Valentine there. Um, we'll have Linda DeMarco from Boston Pride be there to speak. Um, so we're trying to get as many people to come and support that. But more importantly, um, we also wanted to find a way to support just families who want just a place to be able to go and take their kids and have fun while still celebrating pride. So we're having a movie screening of Love, Simon in the park um, on Ju not July, June 15th. And we're actually doing that with the city of Somerville as well and actually Somerville Media Center. So that's we're really right. excited yeah. for that. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Um, and so what date is the banner unveiling? May, Thursday, May 30th. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what date is the silent disco? That is Friday, June 7th from right. 6 to 9 p.m. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you both for uh, talking with us today at Vox Pop. Thank and, you. Um, Thank if you're you. interested, if anybody's interested in Vox Pop events, uh, I encourage you to go to somervillemedia.org backslash Vox Pop to see what else we have lined up. Uh, a lot of events coming coming through in and around here. We're excited to be here with uh, with Frit here at Assembly Row, and uh, thank you both again for thank coming you. on. Thank and you. And we'll see you at the silent disco. <laughs>